I just love to draw. I felt like it was something that chose me at a young age. I've always been a storyteller from as far back as I can remember. And I'm like, okay, what fulfills me? And what can I see myself doing 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now? It always came back to music or singing. The first time I walked into Shea Arts, I knew it was different from any place I've ever been. When I found out I got it, I was very scared because I didn't do ballet. I was so nervous. I didn't know if I wanted to go. I come from a gospel background, but I had not played any classical or jazz piano before coming to Shire's. I chose Shire's because of the conservatory program. It's very comprehensive. There are five conservatories, music conservatory, dance conservatory, theater program, visual arts, and creative writing. So academics are from eight to two. From two to five, I have my conservatory classes. They really have expectations for you. That helps me to be more prepared to be more professional and to take this seriously, you know, it's not just like a game. You know, you have your accountant, but you as the artist need to also be aware of what is going on. In my profession development class, she teaches us about business and managing time, managing money, and it does not have to only apply to music, this applies to everyday life. Shires has taught me patience, whether it's in ballet class or in math class. I know if I want to do something right and have the final product look amazing, I got to do all the correct steps. I know how to discipline myself, how to tell myself when I need to do something, how to work in a team. I'm, you know, just constantly writing, constantly critiquing, constantly revising my work and other people's work. And I have to perform. I have to, you know, show off my work in the form of a reading. The pages, riddled with jaundice and delicate, still kick with the frantic fury of a lion. Life skills-wise, that really helps. Just being able to talk to people with confidence and with an aura that you know what you're doing. But the riveting structure of the poem settles me down again. Serenity is what poetry is. Tearing at my weathered heartstrings, opening up a world beyond my comprehension. It's very hard to part. If we do develop the work ethic, the desire to excel, and just a culture of excellence in general in the studio, that translates no matter where you go. It's not just like, you know, in the movies where you see like fame and no one goes to class and we run around all day. We take our schoolwork just as serious as we take our conservatory work. My favorite academic class has to be British literature. I like to grab from a lot of different things that I've read and put that into my art. My classes here helped me a lot to dig a little more into the meaning of the play and why it's written, you know, why it's important to do that play. I used to take a music history class last year, and a lot of the things that we talked about, like the, the Renaissance period, we were talking about in my actual academic history class. So I'm getting the art side of it and, and the factual side of it, so it's the best of both worlds. The coursework is extremely rigorous and the students are extremely well prepared for their futures, whether that lay in more of the academic side or in their professional lives as artists. The academics can be challenging at times, but Shy Arts has wonderful teachers that are always here to give you a helping hand when you need it. We have amazing faculty, from the academic teachers to the conservatory teachers. I love my teachers. They help me be a better actress, a better person. And it's also an amazing thing to have teachers who are doing this every day. These teachers are out here auditioning, they're performing, they're doing it so they can tell you from a first person standpoint what it's like to be an everyday artist. One, two, three.
They offer us performing opportunities outside of the school. We have a festival on Saturday, so we're preparing for that. Right now we're training for the finals of Youth America Grand Prix in New York. It's one of the biggest ballet competitions in America. Last year, I got to perform in Goodman in front of a lot of people. Yeah, that was really cool. Chai Arts really prepares me for any opportunities, whether it's becoming a teacher or becoming a novelist or becoming a journalist. I'll be able to do that. After I graduate from here, I plan to go to college and go to law school, maybe even entertainment law and professional musician on the side. I definitely want to continue music, but I really have a strong interest in science. I might want to go to into being a doctor. After I graduate, I plan on touring. Without a doubt, I want to be a professional ballet dancer. Next year, I will be attending the Joffrey Ballet's trainee program. It's unbelievable to think that I started ballet two years ago. It's such an honor, and I thank all of it to Shire Arts. Shy Arts is turning my passion into a career and has turned many passions into careers. I always felt like I didn't fit in growing up and I always felt weird. But in here I feel accepted. It's like a family. We're really connected. It's people that you love, people that you care for, and those people care for you too. You get to be who you are. You get to be who you want to be. And that's awesome.